welcome back to Space Coast Channel's Lively Brevard Show. I'm your hostess, Jennifer Cleveland, and I'm here with Sita today. Can you tell us a little bit about you and your organization? I am Amy Sita Maloon Gibson, known as the Empowerment Doc, and my stage name is Sita Gibson. Today I'm going to share a little bit about our company, which is ATIC, as A-T-I-C, and MG Center for Excellence, where we are growing and empowering future leaders for extraordinary success. Now, we have a for-profit and a non-profit side. Today, I'm going to share with you the for-profit side. Our programmatic initiatives for the community are, one, educational lectures, two, STEM, that's science, technology, engineer, and mathematics, uh, empowerment for youth, career mentoring, that's for individuals that want to uh, move to their next level in their career. We provide mentors and or sponsors for them. And then building community partnerships. You can't do everything by yourself. It's called team building. Together everyone achieves more. And uh, veterans empowerment. I am the past immediate, immediate past president of the Women's Army Corps Veterans Association. And one of the things that ATIC and MG Center for Excellence does is that we try to ensure that there's no female specifically veterans that are homeless. How we do that? We partner with different organizations within the community to ensure that that does not happen and we help the individuals through the Department of Veterans Affairs to get a place to sleep and if it's women with children we ensure that they get resources, we help them with resources within the community or from our own funding. So Sita, your organization brings a lot of value to our community. I've heard that you also have some uh, programs for youth and women development as well as the arts? Yes, of course we have youth and women empowerment. And when we say youth and women empowerment, we partner with our organization. We give them a holistic approach. We want to empower them, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, and personally, you know, so they can have that holistic approach. And we do that through seminars and workshops. And we do have uh, programs like for empowerment for women, especially the music and the arts. And we do want to solicit new instrument or slightly used instruments for those individual students and adults that we have that are interested in the arts and music. In addition, we have workshops and empowerment seminars. We don't do it all by ourselves because there are other organizations in the community that are doing some of the same things like we are. So in partnerships, you know, uh, we, we get together. I might be the host. We have the speakers to come in and give them classes on financial uh, literacy, you know, how to get out of debt and uh, start living a more productive financial life, meaning that they're not spending more than they're bringing in. Because a lot of the young people, especially disenfranchised, I hate to say disenfranchised, I want to say youth with possibilities. The youth with the possibilities, they need to have some kind of mentoring and guiding and coaching other than in their core area at home because if they don't get it at home they have to have somewhere to go and what i've noticed uh since uh, our inculcation of our organization which has been around for 10 years but only recently we got our 501c3 approved because i applied for it uh, so we can get grant funding what I have noticed that some of the kids have been in their communities and haven't even been over on this side, over to Cocoa Beach. And they live in their community only. They haven't been to the zoo. They haven't been to a, a professional football game. And the ones that start with us from ninth grade through 12th grade, at the end, we try to take them on a tour, a college tour, to one of the local colleges here and to some additional colleges that were, were, are within the state of Florida. Are there any upcoming events that we need to know about? Yes, on the first Saturday of every month, there is an event, and all those events will be listed on our website, and it's at mgc4e.org, and it will be listed on the upcoming events. Now, these upcoming events that we have, some of them, there's a small donation that's required. If a meal is presented, there's a small donation. But most of the uh, workshops will be 
uh, for free is sponsored. We are also looking for sponsors to sponsor our workshops. And uh, if you are an individual that have uh, some knowledge, skills, or abilities to empower others, we are reaching out and asking you to sign up to become a volunteer. We will pay that $5 to make sure that there's a background check because when you're dealing with young people, even if they're adults, you know, like high school kids, you have to have that clearance. Yes. You know, it's very important, especially in our world today. And all of that information is on your website. All that information is on the website at www.mgc4e.org. My phone number is 321-537-5002. Our email address is info at mgc4e.org. And if you want to uh, call us at any time, just go ahead and call. If you have a building, we really would appreciate that. There are a lot of facilities that are empty, especially the banks. And if you would like to lease us a space for at least two to three years, we would appreciate that. And you can write that all off. Again, I am Dr. Cedar Gibson. I am the founder and CEO of ATIC and MG Center for Excellence, where we are growing and empowering future leaders now for extraordinary success. And our why is your success. Thank you so much, Dr. Cedar. It was wonderful to talk with you. And please check out their website and volunteer and get involved. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate your time and getting the word out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.